from the NBC 26 Precision Forecast Center, Chief Meteorologist Cameron Moreland. There is a word used to describe the weather that I have not used in about a month, and that word is hot. Here's a look at your seven day temperature trend. Highs tomorrow, Saturday, and Sunday will be in the lower 80s, upper 80s to around 90 on Monday, and then upper 80s to lower 90s as we move into Tuesday, Wednesday, and Thursday, and that is hot weather. Today was our warmest day in over a week. Most spots were in the upper 70s to lower 80s, and as you can see, the warm-up is just beginning. 79 degrees right now in Oconto. We've got 75 in Chilton. It is 81 in Wapaka near Lake Michigan with a breeze coming in off the lake. It's a little bit cooler, 73 degrees in Manitowoc. 77 right now in Green Bay with mostly sunny skies in Appleton. It is also mainly sunny with temperatures in the mid 70s. The satellite picture this evening shows abundant sunshine across Wisconsin. High pressure is our main weather maker and it's going to control our weather really for the next week or so. Underneath that ridge of high pressure today, temperatures were starting to warm up. You can see mid to upper 70s across most of Wisconsin and Illinois, but out to the west on the other side of a cluster of showers and thunderstorms, temperatures were warming into the 80s, and that warmer weather is going to be moving east here the next several days, which means we're going to get up into the 80s tomorrow and then stay there as we move into next week. Once again, some 90s are possible as well. So far this month, high temperatures have been in the 80s for only two days. That is the lowest total in 14 years. But tomorrow, most spots will be in the 80s away from Lake Michigan. 82 in Cecil, 83 in Marion, 84 in Wild Rose. We can expect 81 degrees in Menasha. Near Lake Michigan, once again, a little bit cooler. Temperatures will be in the upper 70s. Absolutely beautiful for mid-August. Now, as we head in the next week, summer makes a big comeback across most of the country. The jet stream is going to lift to the north. It is going to be significantly warmer. Temperatures running 10 to 15 degrees above normal for this time of year. And once that very warm to hot weather gets here, it's going to be sticking around the computer models have us seeing above to much above normal temperatures right into September. So your forecast for tonight calls for fair skies. Overnight lows will be in the lower 50s, the last kind of cool night for a while. Tomorrow, summer returns. Temperatures get back up into the 80s, lower 80s on Saturday and Sunday. A lot of sunshine, upper 80s to around 90 on Monday, and then upper 80s and lower 90s for Tuesday, Wednesday, and Thursday of next week. The humidity is also going to shoot up there with dew points getting back up into the 60s and 70s. And although I don't have it on the graphic, yeah, there could be a shower or a thunderstorm at some point as we start to get into that hot and humid air mass next week. That seven day looks a little more appropriate for August. Tom. It does. I mean, temperatures really have been below normal for about the last three and a half to four weeks. So this is going to be a big turnaround as we wrap up August and head into September. All right.